Solar electricity is a clean, safe and affordable alternative to candles and kerosene lighting for people without mains electricity. Those who need it most also live far away from towns where solar lights are sold. SolarAid has found a new way to get the lights to the customers in East Africa by enlisting the help of head teachers. Ashton went to Tanzania to see how it works. Thanks to advances in battery and LED technologies, there's now a wide range of solar lights within the purchasing power of even the poorest families. But while technological barriers have fallen, logistical and geographical challenges are still holding solar back. It's all about distribution. I heard someone say at a conference recently that product is king, but distribution is God. Steve Andrews is chief executive of UK charity SolarAid. Through a trading subsidiary called Sunny Money, they found a new way to get lights into the hands of people who need them, by using schools as distribution centres. Renewable energy expert Anne Weldon has come to Tanzania on behalf of the Ashton Awards for Sustainable Energy to meet the Sunny Money team and crunch the numbers. I've got some figures for you. Thank you. We want to see an existing achievement. We want to see that it's technically sound, that they're using good technology, that the people that it reaches see genuine benefits. How many boxes do you test each day? 50 boxes per day. <laughs> That's a lot of testing. Anne joins one of the sales teams at a rural school to see how the distribution system works. The first stage is encouraging the head teachers to take part. Around 50 of them from one area are invited to meet at a single school for a presentation. For the head teachers, it's back to school as they learn about the benefits of high quality solar lighting. The cheapest lamp on offer here is just 12,000 Tanzanian shillings, or less than $8. They will quite possibly have had experience with poor quality products and so there could be a, a barrier we have to get across. Scepticism is dispelled with a demonstration of just how robust the lights are. It can be an economic disaster to buy something that's rubbish. So they need to be very, very sure that, that these are quality products. The teachers are provided with travel expenses and a free lamp each and go back to their schools to collect orders. But they don't receive a cash commission for selling the systems. Sunny Money says the promise of more study time and a chance of better grades for their students is incentive enough. This will be helpful to our students because it will enable them to study more and more during the night. And in that way, they will pass their examination. For 12,000, they will pass their examination and they will pass their life. The teachers return to their own schools to pitch the lights to their students and collect the payment for any purchases. A few weeks after that, they'll meet again to collect the orders from the Sunny Money team. Next morning, there's an early start to see how the lights are distributed. It's half past six and we're on our way to Nzela village and the teachers who've been collecting orders from their students are going to um, come and pay for their lights, which are on the roof of the Land Rover, um, and then deliver them to their school. There's only 100 kilometres to travel, but the journey takes over two and a half hours. It's a reminder of the scale of the distribution challenge in rural Africa. As soon as you get onto the dirt roads, you're going slowly, roads get washed out, and the places where there's least access to electricity are the ones where the roads are worst as well. The head teachers arrive in Nzera from neighbouring districts to pick up the lights their students have ordered and take them back to their schools. Good morning, school. Before I was using a lamp, a kerosene lamp, which was affecting my lungs. That's why I have decided to, sell, to buy this one. It is useful indeed because it doesn't produce any soot. They may be marketed as study lighting, but that's not all they're good for. I'm from a far flow away from my family, so I will use in cooking. Because I've not there, there's no one who can cook for me, you see? <laughs> in two years, the school distribution model has seen Sunny Money's monthly sales 
go from 200 to 50,000 lights, making it the biggest supplier of solar lights in Africa. The company now employs 45 people in Tanzania and is using the same distribution model in Kenya, Malawi and Zambia. I believe this is a, is a life-changing situation, like they won't have to use kerosene anymore or candles. The roving sales teams are backed up by office-based staff who handle direct follow-up sales by telephone. It's just finding ways for someone in a remote part of Tanzania to buy a good quality light, to know that they've got service on it if it goes wrong. And these awards are made to organisations that have really shown how to make sustainable energy work, get it to a lot of people and in ways that other people could learn from. 